Let's make your first dictionary in 10 easy steps. The first step is actually starting the dictionary maker feature. You can do that from the tools menu on our main menu located just here. Just press this button or if you are already in the editor screen as we are here you can go up to tools and dictionary is under the tools, the second item down. So let's open up our dictionary maker. Click dictionary. So to give you a quick introduction to the dictionary maker uh, feature, we have on the left hand side, we have the list of all of our fields. The second column is our select column where we can uh, select items to appear or not appear in the dictionary. This here is our sort order, which is the order of appearance of which each field over here will appear in the dictionary entry. We have this new ability as well to be able to have a prefix and a suffix appear before or after each entry. As you can see, word category already has a prefix and a suffix, which is a left and a right bracket to appear in this entry. And you will see that how that actually impacts upon an entry when you view your first dictionary. On the right hand side, we have our filter area. This is probably an area which you're already familiar with and how to use it. Drop down boxes, let you narrow down on what actually you can uh, export. Here we're going to do for our first dictionary, every entry, unrestricted words from all of our library items. Main, yes, archived, no. If you haven't gone and ticked your main box and selected primary words within your Miramar entries, you might wish to choose either. So what we're going to easily do here is we're going to, to make our first dictionary, we're going to accept these initial defaults and we're going to click the big Make Dictionary button. So as we always like to suggest is to have good file management. We hope that within your document folder on your computer you have a special Miramar language work area. And within that area, you actually have a various set of folders. Now, what I'd like to do is create a folder just for my dictionaries. So I'm gonna go new folder. I'll type in dictionary, spelled correctly. Open that folder up and I will now give my dictionary a name, my first dictionary. Once I've done that, you'll note that it saves it as a rich text file. That's the format which Miramar makes its dictionaries in. This is a Microsoft Word um, file type, but it gives us fe uh, feature rich Word documents. We're ready to go. So let's click save. the creating dictionary window will now appear. Now, depending on the size of your dictionary and the amount of media, as in images, will determine the time which it takes to create the dictionary. Very high resolution images are going to be longer. Smaller resolution images will be quicker. But we'll just be patient here and we'll see what happens for creating our first dictionary. Dictionary completed. Your dictionary has been saved. So we can click the OK button. We'll close off the Dictionary Maker box. We can minimize Miramar. Now we'll navigate to our Dictionary folder, which is in, for me, Documents, my Miramar language work area, the folder I created called Dictionary. And there it is, my first dictionary. This particular one is 221 megabytes in size approximately. So let's open it up and see if it all worked. Here we 
we go. The dictionary comes with its own title page, a blank page for you to be able to add uh, contents or other information. And as we scroll down, there we are with our first entries and we can see we have our entries, we have images appearing. So everything is looking, we've got items here, so this is pretty exciting. This particular dictionary, which I've, we've just created here, is 172 pages long. And um, once you have a look at yours, you'll be able to start to critique it and uh, see what you need to do to improve your dictionary. Congratulations on making your first dictionary.